Hey guys, my name is David Roman. I'm the author of the Eternal Horizon books. Welcome to my channel. As some of you may know, I also uh, create, I mean, I also paint and draw in addition to writing books. And I mean, my books are illustrated. So, and now I suddenly decided to create a children's book. Because my nephew's two years old, he's gonna be three next year. I wanna do something, I am not want to do a present for him. But this idea has been in my head for about 10 years. It's a book about animals. I'm not gonna give away too much. So uh, I'm gonna start with the first illustration today. I already have it sketched out right here. It's a cheetah lying on a savanna plane. There's a giraffe there, there's a chimp, there's a gazelle. I'm gonna show a thumbnail right here. So uh, let's get this started. It's gonna be uh, my own personal cartoon style. I just I already designed the characters. Kind of like, you know, have a little concept going there. So let's do this. It's gonna be a quick tutorial. And I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so first I have the sketch here. I mean, it's a bootleg iPhone picture that I took. So I need to create a new background. Because, you know, this ain't gonna cut it. So, click right. Unlock it, first of all. Come on, let me move this. Yeah, and uh, Control-Alt-C. Let me see. I'm going to do this by inches. So let's say, uh, I don't need width 42. And it's going to be, uh, the pages are square, eight and a half by eight and a half. So I'm just going to round it up to 10. So let's say, uh, 10 by 10 and the width is going to be 20. So 40, 40. And now height twenty. Let's do like this. And first, then then the image. We want to do three hundred. That's too high. That's not gonna change our canvas size. Don't worry about that. Let's do about six thousand. No, it's still too much. Let's do about five thousand. Because you want a higher quality. All right. So let's see. See, the canvas is still. I mean, twenty five hundred. Yeah, it's even. So let's see here. Control T. Let's move this around. It's pretty much like the blueprint of what I'm gonna do. There we go. Kind of like this. We see the bigger it is, you know, longer it's gonna take. So now I have the blueprints, and uh, I could either use a pen tool, or I could just start drawing around the top. But I'm gonna do the pen tool, so for me it's gonna be easier. And I'm gonna fast forward this. Grab the pen tool, and let's start this. So we got the cheetah. I'm gonna start adding colors to her. I'm 
just gonna fill out with one color and then later on I'm gonna go over with a stylus. So what, what colors are cheated? We can always change the color later if I don't like it. No. So like this, so this color. It's gonna go boom. Oops. It's not doing the autofill thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this layer, I'm gonna lower the opacity to like a 73, that way I can see the lines on the other layer. I'm gonna select it all so I don't go over boundaries. Now I'm gonna choose like a not a black color, but I'm gonna just choose like a dark brown. Well, actually, you know, a really dark color. Get a, this brush right here. Like a five point. And I'm just gonna trace over my original sketch. Okay. Maybe he needs some help. There what we yes. have. He's See, we have the outline already going. Everything. I'm just gonna rasterize this. Okay. Before details, let me uh put the neutral color on certain places. You want to keep it like this. I mean, I know it blends in right there, but I might give like a shadow. I'm not going to do too much shadow. It's going to be more like a vector. You could have done this with Illustrator actually, but I'm going to do it in Photoshop. Okay, let's let me do the set before I start doing this. Uh, the dots, the spots, I mean, the dots, the spots, whatever, same difference, right? And the whiskers, I'm gonna do some shading, a little bit of shading, but it's no shadows, none of that. It's gonna be a different color, so I'll show you in a second. Okay, before I do this, let me change. I don't like this color. Let me uh, see what I can do. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Rick, you're paying this one, right? I got you back. I guess this color right here. Let's see how that looks. Um, yeah, it looks it's not as bright. So you have the whole place to yourself, don't There we go. So gotta do our eyes. Okay, let's uh oh, let me get a darker. Get like a there we go. Select it all so we don't go over boundaries. 
Maybe I'll start adding the shadow. Bigger. There we go. Give it green eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna add more shadows, but I'm gonna add shadows with this color. So, grab this color, get a darker version of it. Get back. I plugged in my uh, uh, blue mic, so uh, should be clear now. Okay, let me do the spots. Uh, this is just we don't need to worry about it. when, just in case, I'm gonna lower the opacity. I don't even know. And to do the spots. You could just, you know, do circles with a brush. But I'm not gonna do that. There's specific brushes for that. I'm gonna find them real quick. And uh, you don't want it looking like a jaguar or a leopard, so. Look up a picture of a cheetah. Cheetahs have really small dots. Okay, so I'm gonna get the oval brush. I'm gonna get the big spots out of the way first. First of all, I'm going to select this color so I don't go out of my and this color. There we go. I just got to do the big dots for now. Okay, just bump that back up. And we got a cheetah. Perfect circles, you know, none of those squiggly. We see, I still gonna have to fix those lines. Okay, let's uh, do the whiskers, the claws, and let me turn this off. 
，你看。Okay, let me go back to that sharp brush that I use. Where is it? Where is my favorite brush? I'm gonna give her the whiskers. Three on each side. And let's do her claws. And the claws is like these are behind. So I'm gonna just create another layer right here. He's gonna merge these two. Control E. I'm gonna go later on and just, you know, fix these off camera. You know, maybe I'll get a secondary darker color for the ears too. Add a little shadow. Safe. Okay, we're done with the cheetah. Okay, let's uh, let's do the let's do. I guess we'll do the gazelle first. Is it a gazelle or antelope? I don't know. Whatever, man. Whatever. New layer. And let's start the let's get black. I'm just drawing this out instead of penciling, whatever. Let's get a brown color, but like I don't want it to be like the cheetah, you know. Ooh. Oh, let me, let me uh, lock away her legs so that way uh, it doesn't go over. Okay, now I can get a, a darker brown color. Like this, and just do some, do some effects. Do some like... Yeah. 
There we go. And actually, I'm going to put some of this color inside the ear. Inside this ear too. Okay, yeah. For the hooves and the horns. I'm gonna go with black and gray. So let's do gray first. Okay, let's do the inside chest area. I'm not gonna do any shadows there. We want it to be different than her. Yeah, I don't like this color. So, like this. Start naming, uh, I'm gonna just use, start a new layer for the giraffe. Now, all of you GIF people who say GIF and not GIF, is it giraffe or giraffe, huh? I'm a GIF person. And I don't care about the peanut butter, all right? It's a homonym. It's two words that sound the same but spelled differently, so leave me alone. Okay, so this is gonna be the giraffe. Oh, giraffe. <laughs> giraffe. All right, so I'm gonna do a ten, and just gonna do the same thing. more like uh let's do let's do it like a yellow really bright yellow there we go that's kind of yellow that way it stands out yeah that's better
Okay, let's do the spots. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me bump up the opacity. That way, I gra grab this color and then lower the opacity. And you know, it's not circles. So let me find a perfect brush. There we go, a giraffe, right? Pretty much already got a giraffe going there. So let me just grab the brush again and just detail it out. Chimp next. Chimp's gonna be the easiest one. It's not much to do there. Yeah, covered his face pretty much. So new layer. Like uh All those little gaps will disappear later. I mean, they're not gonna disappear. I'm just gonna do under layer. Let's start with the background. I'm gonna start doing the background, and uh, the background is gonna be easier than the rest of the stuff. So, should be done soon. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna block out the background. Go back. I'll well, just call this champ. Go back to layer zero. Create another layer called the sky. And you know, I was gonna do like a sunset and all that, but you know, we ain't nobody got time for it. I'm just gonna do like a basic bluish color and like probably no clouds at all. We'll, we'll see. So let, me, let me do like a slight sunset thing. Soft opacity like 30. There you go, you see. Guess too much. Then we're gonna grab that color again and go to a uh, mixer brush. And just blend in, you know. There we go. That's good enough. Maybe should we do clouds? I don't want to, you know. Maybe I'll do like cartoony clouds. Is 
Let's just get the elliptical marquee tool. Just, you know. Let's see here. I guess I'll do. There's gonna be text right here, there's gonna be text right there, you know. I don't wanna to spend too much time on it. Okay, let's do another layer. And this one I'm gonna call mountains. color for the mountain. Let's get the brush. Let me get the this brush. And uh look like grayish color. Turn all the guys back on. Kind of like this, man, you know. Looks like Kilimanjaro or something, because, you know, it's Africa. Not too much. I'm gonna do another layer. I'm just gonna call this. Uh, just gonna call this grass, I guess. So I mean, I'm still gonna do the grass blades, but for now, I'm just gonna do uh, like the neutral color. Now we're gonna do the horizon line before the mountains there we go this color I like it maybe darker yeah like this You know what? I'm too. I'm just gonna copy and paste. I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna copy and paste this mother. But on this one, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna select it all. I'm gonna get a brown. I'm just gonna make the the trunk a little different. There we go. There, there. See? We have a little savanna going now. Alright, now let's see what else can we do. Turn the grass off, turn the sky off. We can leave that on. It's not bothering anyone. Let's do this tree right here. Get that tree out of the way. And that tree is in front of everything, right? I'm just gonna do this big tree. Big tree. Hmm, it's a good thing we still have that brown. I'm gonna go ahead and use that brown.
All right, let me get a, there's a foliage brush. And uh, I'm gonna grab that real quick. Okay, so go to, uh, hold on, where are we at? Special effects brushes. It should be preloaded to Photoshop. You don't have to download anything. There's a foliage mix here. Foliage mix two, I thought that was a one. Foliage mix, two, whatever. You grab, uh, like, let's say, the darker color. And then for this one, for the secondary color, it's gonna be a lighter color. And then, actually, you know, let me create a new layer. Okay, for rocks, I'm gonna use uh, like a brown color, but something that doesn't you know, blend in with the tree right here. Or with the gazelle, or with the monkey, chimp, the ape. I'm sorry. Grab this brown. Put a lake. I think I had a lake there too. I had an idea for a lake. Yeah, I might do that. Let's do the rocks first. gonna be uh, a little different than the sky get that sky color and then we're gonna go bluish there we go okay gonna come on I'm gonna do a little shoreline thingy grab this color the darker green and like okay last but not least we're gonna do the grass Lower it down. I'm gonna do the grass and we're done. I mean, I wanna put the text right here. It's gonna be split right here. Page one, page two. A little text right here. See, this tree might even get in the way. It's a good thing it's on its own. You can always move it over. Let me shift it. You know, with, you know, like text right here and text right there. Yeah, let's get the... And I'm just gonna call it... Tall Grass.
Okay, let's see here. Uh, this is gonna be tough because I'm gonna no. There's gonna be several layers of the grass. Cause you know it's grass right here, and then there's grass back there. So this grass I'm gonna put all the way on top. And uh, let's grab the brush, doom grass. There we go. And uh, one color is gonna be uh, like this. And the second color. Well, let's go back. So let's go at it and see what happens. It's too high. And hold on now. I like the first color, I don't like the second color. I need a darker. Like this. And let's do about 400. How about 330? Yeah, the rocks uh, are low. This is why, yeah. Okay, this is why I was having problems. Okay, there we go. Come on, 55. Let's go behind the rocks over the big tree. Right there. Let me move the other animals right here so I can I don't know why it's going over the gaz oh yeah my bad There we go. Remember I told you not to worry about the animals? Well, they were. This is why. Might as well put the, you know, go in the foreground. And, um, put little small blades here and there. Okay then, let's go back to the other animals, let me move them around a little bit, move them down, That's good enough. That's it. We are done. And there is an illustration. And you know, I'm not gonna put a signature on there. Even though I should, but I'm not. Let me get a. Let me re. Let's see what happens if I. What happens if I do this? 
That's about too many details. That's good enough. I am done. I mean, uh, I'm still gonna do little touch-ups, like I said, but that's gonna be off camera. I am done. You know, like a little touch-up for there, here. But that's that's it. We are dead. That's the first illustration. And uh, actually, you know what? Well, one more, one more little touch-up. Kind of like this. Yeah, a little more that. There we go, that's it. So that was it, that was the, the quick tutorial. Took me like three and a half hours, I mean, which is not a lot actually. Some of, my, some of the illustrations from my book take me you know, 20 to 30 hours. And you know, don't be discouraged by that. You know, there are some things online people take 200 to 300 hours to do. So you know, three, four hours, that's not bad. It's just it's perfect. You know, I could stamp, stamp this out one a day and you know, but it's, I'm probably gonna just do this in between my other pieces. So it'll probably take me about a year to do this. So the first illustrations is done. Please, I mean, I'm gonna post the videos of all the other illustrations, pretty much the whole book here. I mean, minus the text. So please subscribe, you know, please support me by clicking like, subscribing, and uh, I mean, I'm still gonna post videos <laughs> regardless, but still, you know, support me in any way you can. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>